Hi, Paul Thompson from Twin Tuition here, and a very warm welcome to this week's tutorial. As you can see, back on the acoustic this time, <clears throat> so I'm going to be doing an acoustic version um, of One by You Two. And it's been requested by Mark, who's currently learning this song. He's asked me if I do a tutorial, which I'm absolutely uh, more than happy to do. And I'd also like to wish him and Louise all the best for their upcoming uh, wedding in a few weeks' time. I'd just like to take this opportunity to wish you uh, all the very best for a long and happy life together. Okay, now as you saw from the demo, uh, this has got some quite nice little chord embellishments and added on notes. So it makes it really interesting playing. Um, I've used a bit of artistic license, there's two or three guitar overdubs on the original electric track. I've tried to incorporate those in the in the chords. It's really doable and accessible if you're relatively new to guitar. And if you are or you're a complete beginner, please check out my uh, 26 lesson beginner's guitar course. Uh, it's on the website on here. Um, first lesson is absolutely free. You can check it out before you before you sign up, and it works out at less than less than four pound a lesson. It takes you from being a complete beginner, never having picked up a guitar before, to playing at a quite good uh, a good level. So it's well worth it. Great value, and proving really popular with our guitar playing community here at Twang. So uh, check that out. And without further ado, here we go with one by you two. Okay, I'm just going to run through the uh, the chords for the for the intro and the verse. Then first of all. Um, straight open chords, A minor to start with, and to D major, F major 7, easy F, without your first finger flat against the two strings, you want to hear that open top string, so F major 7, and a G there, okay, so, um, those are the basic open chords, and as I said in the intro, we're going to be in, uh, adding in some little extra notes in there to embellish and create that distinctive sound of the, uh, of the intro and the verse, so, <coughs> Starts off. A little hammer on on the third string, second fret. Now you can what you can do is hammer on with your third finger and then add the add the A minor chord straight in there for the down strum because we're starting on a little down strum on the A minor. Then an up strum on the uh, emphasizing the top two strings there because the little melody you can hear is emphasized on those two strings. So we don't want the bass strings kind of ringing too much and clouding that little uh, melodic uh, section there. So hammer on, down strum, up pick. Then we're adding my little finger onto the second string, third fret. And consequently the strumming goes down, up, down, up. So all together we've got And then I'll just add in a little few little extra strums there to D. Now on the D, I'm, I'm uh, taking my first finger off that note and adding it back on uh, to create that little extra melody on the D. So, so down, two down, up, down, up, down strums there. Um, then we've got so you see my first fingers coming off and then adding on to the to the to, to the same note there each time. Now the F again two, th three little strums up, up, down, up on just to, just to finish. So just to lead us into the next chord that, that helps. And then to F major seven again down. We want to hear the top two strings again for the melody. And just like I did on the A minor, I'm adding my little finger onto that second string, third fret. Same little three strums again at the end. Now to G. A little bit more, a uh, little bit more involved here because we're adding a G, uh, adding a sus four. That's my first finger on the uh, second string, first fret, and then. Now, I'm, I'm, again, I'm taking it off and adding it on there and finishing with my little finger on the, the again, the third string, uh, th second string, third fret. So the G. Same strumming pattern. Down, add my first finger on, off, on, off, little finger to finish. So all together, nice and slow, we've got. Thank you. 
Um, and I'd, I'd just suggest when you when, 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 to, to, to accentuate those added on, on notes, you want to make sure that your your picking hand really exaggerates those strings so you can hear the melody over the over the chord. If you kind of strum a full chord, you lose it a little bit. So your picking hand really wants to accentuate those those strings where you're adding the notes on, just so they they lift the notes above the rest of the chord. Okay, uh, for the for the for the rest of the song, I'm going to show you a few little variations on those notes because you don't need to stick exactly to those. So I'm going to show you a few little variations. Moving on to the chorus, it's nice and easy. The chorus. So we've got C one two three four two three A minor. One bar in each, F major 7, C. Stay on C, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, F, 2, 3, 4, C. Now, when we pass into the A, A minor and back into the second verse, I'm using that like little. C with a B bass, just swapping my third finger with my second there. And indeed, you can use that in other areas of the chorus, which I'll show you in a little while. So if you notice, I was all doing all down stabs there as well. One, two, three, four. I can use that passing note, the, the, the B replacing the C there, to pass into my A minor right from the beginning of that chorus. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Stay on C, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, F major seven, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Now, what we want to do is to lift, lift the song a little bit, so we're going to put a few little extra strums in, a bit louder as well, so the dynamic of the song lifts over the second verse and the and the second chorus. Playing on acoustic, you need to do that because we haven't got the luxury of bass, drums, and electric guitar. So we have to do that with a little bit more um, involved strumming. Um, and um, yeah, just, lift it, just lifting the whole song for the second verse of the chorus. So, a few little uh, different embellishments. Instead of having my little finger, I can take my first finger on and off. So I'm back to the A minor. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the D, on the F, I could take my second finger off there. I'm going to do the same thing on the G, because it sounds nice, works really well. I can change to add, add my first finger on and off. And then go to my little finger if I want. That's another little one. I could play the D sus two with me, lifting my second finger off that string. Same on the F, take the second finger on and off. And then into the chorus, and then the chorus once the strumming, I was I was doing all down strums in the first ver first chorus. The subsequent choruses. Yeah, and that's so on the chorus, just really, just including rather all down strums and, and being a little bit laid back. You're introducing up and down strums to really lift lift the song. Um, and, and again, you can experiment, you know, with different, I've, I've given you a few little added on notes on there. That's pretty much, um, that's pretty much the main ones that you can include on that. Um, 
so yeah, see so how you get on. Oh, hope you're getting okay with that. And uh, and there we go. One by you too. Well, there we have it for another week. Many thanks for joining me once again. Please, if you haven't done so already, uh, subscribe to my channel for the free weekly tutorials. Um, follow us on, on the social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and all the rest of it. And please drop me a line if you'd like me to cover anything uh, guitar-wise. I'm happy to uh, cover any, any song, acoustic or electric. Just give me a shout, drop me a line on here, and I'll happily oblige. Uh, many thanks once again, and I look forward to seeing you next time.